Now, most people will probably tell you that they hate pop-ups, but let me tell you something, pop-ups actually work. And here's the proof. So you can see here, I have a pop-up for a free web designer course, and it has 905 leads. Now, out of every 100 people that have seen this, about 6.8, or let's say seven, have actually signed up. So these are the leads that I can later on send emails to and perhaps maybe even sell related products. So it works. The challenge is if we take a look here at ConvertBox, it costs about 495 to set this up. So if you're on a budget, this can be a challenge. But I'm very excited to tell you that Spectre Pro has actually a feature within it that allows you to, bring, to build pop-ups. And this is what I'm going to show you today. So before we get started, I have a link to Spectra Pro in the video description below. So I've gone ahead and installed it. Now there's also one plugin that I need to install. It's called Fluent Forms because I want people to sign up onto a form and then automate the process later. So as you can see here, I've already gone and installed Spectra and I've also installed Fluent Forms. So let's go ahead and let's build our pop-up. So let's start off over, uh, over here by hovering over Spectra and then we're gonna click on pop-up builder. But before we do that, actually, before we do that, let me come over here to forms and let's create a new form. So let's make this a blank form. Now let's add our fields. I just need name and email. So pretty much that's it. In fact, I don't need the last name. So let me go in and change that. So on the last name here, I'm gonna uncheck that. So I've got first name, email address, and then submit. So I'm gonna call this form leads like that and then rename. Okay, so now let's build our pop-up. So I'm gonna come over here and hover over Spectra and you're going to notice that we have this pop-up builder. I'm gonna click on that. So let's click on create pop-up. I'm gonna call this my leads and then we're gonna go for the pop-up. By the way, we also have an opportunity to set up an info bar, but that's gonna be another tutorial. So I'm gonna click on pop-up and now you notice that we have this area here where we can go in and start working on this. So the really cool thing about this is we can start adding all our blocks by just clicking in here. So let's say you want to add an image, you click on this plus button here, and then you search for your image block like that. And then I'm just gonna drag and drop it in here. I'm gonna go to my media library, and let's say this is the image I'm going to use. I'm gonna hit select, and now my image has been added. There we go. So we're gonna get rid of this because we don't really need this one here. So I'm gonna click once on it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and delete. Okay, so you may wanna give this a heading, but if there's at any point you wanna go in and make some adjustments to this, you can always come over here, fix your pop-up height like that. Now let's go in and add other elements. I'm gonna click in here, click on this plus button. So this time it's gonna be a form, because remember, we created a form earlier on. So I'm gonna search for forms, and we should see fluent forms in here. Here it is, I'm gonna click once, and now I can go in and select my form. My form is called leads, if you remember. So now we have our opt-in, brilliant. So we can do a few adjustments in here. We can go in and give this some breathing space or even give this some color, but we're not gonna waste too much time on that. Let's go in and add, let's say a title to this. So let's go and click on heading. Now it came all the way down here, it's okay because I can either drag it or I can just click on this little arrow here and bring it all the way to the top. There we go. Now I can go in and center it and then I'm gonna just go in and say, get 10% off. Now remember, when it comes to collecting leads, you, you wanna give something that's enticing for someone to leave their name or email address. So this one here, just a quick design to just say 10% off. So now I can go in and style this. I can give this a bit of spacing. So let's say, I wanna give this a bit of padding. Let's give this a padding bottom. And on this image here as well, I'm gonna come over here to style. Let's go to our padding. In fact, let's go to our margin bottom. I'm gonna break that. We're gonna go for, let's say 20. Okay, that's not too bad. Now remember, you can add any elements in here in your pop-up. This can actually be uh, even a video if you wanted to, okay? So let's say our pop-up builder now is now complete and we are now ready to go in and do our settings. So what you wanna do is to come over here and click on the overview. So you click here on pop-up and now you get all these options for the pop-up builder. So what you wanna do now is to do your settings. So we're gonna go to visibility. So this is where we can choose whether we want it to load after or delay in a few seconds or exit intent. 
or we can uh, specify and paste this so that when uh, something happens here, the trigger, I mean, the pop-up is triggered. But I like exit intent, so I'm going to leave it here. We can also set our reputation here per browser. So let's say maybe six times and then pretty much that's it. Now over here on general, you can actually come in and make some changes here. So you can make this slightly bigger if you want to. You can increase the, uh, the height as well so that everything pretty much fits in. But what I like about this is you can also go in here and make some adjustments to the tablet. So let's say the tablet view, you wanna go in and make some adjustments. You can go in and make your changes here. You can also do that on the mobile. Now, what I also like here is you can add as many elements as you want from here. So let's say you wanna get rid of this image here. So I'm gonna click here on these three little dots and delete it. And let's say we want to add a countdown timer. I can just come over here and then I can just go to my countdown. Now add it like that and then I can further stylize this. So now with this selected, I can go in and choose whether this should be evergreen. I can specify my days. I can also come over here to style and you know do further adjustments. So over here on the digits, I can go in and change the colors. But on the general here, we also have some uh, presets. So if I come over here, you can see we can choose from this one here. We can choose from that one as well. So there's quite a few to choose from. So I like this one here. So I'm going to select that and if I want to further go in and customize this, I can go in and maybe target the box itself. So maybe the size here is a bit too much. I can just bring this in a little bit like that to maybe 100. The gap between is fine. I can further go down here, go to the digits. Again, I can go to typography, reduce the size. So you can see here, it's very, very easy to go in and customize this. If you want to um, work on the colors, I can go in and change the color, but you get the idea. So once we have this, we can also go to our spacing here and let's add a margin bottom. Let's go to percentage this time. So for our margin bottom here, I'm gonna set it to, let's say 4%. You may also need a paragraph here. So let's click on this one here, click on this plus button and we are going to search for paragraph. So I'm gonna go in and click on that. So let's say this is my description text. I'm gonna align it like that. And pretty much you can see how quick it is to go in and create this. It's really, really cool. So now that I have my pop-up and it's ready, I'm gonna come over here and click on the pop-up itself. And here are all my settings. So if I come over here to advanced, I can go in and set my responsive conditions. So let's say I do not want this to show on mobile. I can hide it like that. And then pretty much we are good to go. On the styling here, like I said before, you can go in and set up all your spacing, the close button as well, and the colors. And then mostly you wanna take time over here on the general, just to make your settings once and for all. Now, once this is ready, you can now click on update. So back over here on Spectra, this is where our leads are. So if I click on edit, we can go in at any point and start editing it. So it is very, very easy to use and very easy to set up. So there's one very important setting that we need to go in and adjust, and this is visibility. So if I come over here, you see where it says display conditions, we can specify where we want this pop-up to be. So if I click here on this little pencil icon, I can say display on entire website, or if I click on this drop, drop down, I can specify the blog pages, front page, date, archive, all posts. I can even go in and say all tags, archive. I can go on specific pages. I can go on specific products. So as you can see, this is very, very powerful. I can also say do not display on, and then I can choose a specific page it shouldn't display on. So let's say it's a 404 page. I can click on uh, maybe the search page. I can add all the pages. I do not want this pop-up to show on. So this is very, very powerful. Now I can say return to post and pretty much I am good to go. So you can have a multiple of these pop-ups across your whole website. But the most important thing is this is built into Spectra Pro. Saves you a lot of money and it does the job. The only thing that I would have liked here is perhaps maybe even have a bit of stats to show how the pop-ups are working. But I thought about it and I said to myself, well, this might add more code to this pop-up, but we can always see all our stats on the actual opt-in form in Fluent Forms. So pretty much this is the front end that does the job. Fluent Forms handles all the opt-ins, the uh, percentages of how many people are signing up and so on. 
So it is a complete product, very easy to set up, and it is very, very powerful. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments box below. Till next time, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.